the candy stores here so that I can describe this to the ladies so they'll understand let's what the hell I'm talking about. Let's do it. All right, so let's go into a dream world real quick. I haven't used this one in 2022 yet. Yeah. All right, so I always tell this story so that women can understand the male the male perspective, the male experience. So there's a candy store, all right? Mm-hmm. No, for real, for real, there's a candy store. Mm-hmm. Now, the ladies are allowed into the candy store at 18 years old. 18 years old, you guys are allowed to go into the candy store and you can eat any aisle that you want. You figure out that the gummy bears are good. Tootsie Rolls are disgusting. Candy corn is gross. I don't know. Fucking chocolate. You might like chocolate. You might not like chocolate. You Licorice. might like white chocolate. But you start to figure out what aisles you want to hang out in and what aisles, you know, maybe you like dog candy. I don't know. <laughs> right? But regardless, you're in the candy store for a period of time and you figure out what you like. The men, though, they're not allowed to get into the candy store until they're 35 years old. They have $100,000 saved and they've been in the gym for five years. So guess what? A line starts to accumulate in front of the candy store. Okay, so 17 years later, the guys that were allowed, that made the money, that got in shape, right, and waited to 35 years old, now they're allowed into the candy store. Guess what they're doing? They're going all around the motherfucker like (laughs) eating all (laughs) kinds of candy. Candy that you threw away 10 years ago. They're eating that shit off the ground. They're going nuts, going hanging off the roofs. and And then on top of that, the, the other guys that didn't get into the candy store, they're looking at them like, yeah, bro, you fucking go. Woo! Yeah! They're all excited. And then you pull one of the guys aside. Hey, what the fuck? Like, bro, like, yo. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Chill. Like, well, why do you got to eat all the candy? Here's the thing. How the fuck are you going to tell him how many pieces of candy he should eat when you got into the candy store for free? Damn. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> And that's what and that's what women don't understand because you guys never fought before before you answer ask your question. Women don't understand because privilege is invisible to those that have it. You got into the candy store for free. So you'll never understand the grind it took to get into that candy store to be able to get that candy. That's why women don't can't fathom cheating or having sex with a lot of girls. Why can't you just be loyal like that dumb bitch that came in early? Loyalty! <laughs> Loyalty between men and women are two different things. Loyalty for a woman is you don't fuck anybody else because you got into the candy store for free. Me as a man, my loyalty is protecting you and providing for you. If I fuck another bitch, that's not the same. It's not the same whatsoever. We don't play by the same set of rules. We live the world in a different lens. We look at the other sex from a different perspective. A man that got sex with a lot of women is respected. A woman that has sex with a lot of men is admonished. We're not the same. You have some? No, I was just going to say, so 